Welcome back. Uh, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, says it is mandatory for travelling football agents to obtain a clearance certificate before embarking on any journey. The Director General of the agency, Fatima Waziri Azi, said this in Abuja on Saturday at a novelty match between the agency's football club and the All-Stars Football Club Abuja to create awareness of human trafficking. She also said the mission of the traveling of traveling for any agent would be specified on a clearance certificate. Ms. Waziri Azi added that the clearance certificate would help to reduce the trafficking and migration of persons uh, from Nigeria. To help us unpack this, we joined um, by a guest who is a zonal commander of the uh, National Agency against uh, uh, for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, uh, Makodi Zono Command, Mrs. Gloria Iverimbai. Uh, Gloria Iverimbai, thank you very much for your time. Well, thank you. Good morning. Okay. Uh, um, th this seems to be a, a new one. Um, football agents to receive or to obtain clearance certificates from NAPTIP before traveling. Why? um okay good morning again once again that is actually i think it has become very necessary to have that have this uh, regulation on board and that was why NAPTIP, um through the attorney general of the federation dr i mean uh, uh, um, uh, malami brought up this regulation because you know um for us at NAPTIP, we have experienced we have so many stories about people that have been trafficking the in the name of taking them out there for for football, I um, to football for football opportunities, and for us, we know that people use this these uh, platforms to traffic a lot of people. A lot of girls, um, I mean, young boys, have been trafficked using the name of taking them for football um, academies and uh, opportunities abroad, and I personally, I know, I know one of my there's a time my younger brother was. Um, was scammed. I, I paid the money for his insurance and all that. As much as I told him, I, did, I didn't think this was right. But because of the zeal, the boy was so desperate to go out there. So, so I had to pay. And we discovered that it was a fake uh, a football um, advert. Cause, but I was being contacted. And I, I, I tried to, to do it. So you can see that nobody is... Uh, free from these traffickers. They are always out there and ready to, to, to take any advantage they have to take. So the regulation is quite uh, uh, it's, it's necessary to be able to regulate the activities of the age, all these football agents that come around. Mm. So, so it, when these uh, agents uh, take these uh, youngsters abroad on the guise of taking them for football trials, or for a football career, uh, and it turns out they're being trafficked. Uh, what are they trafficked abroad to do? To to what uh, are they? Uh, is it for prostitution or for what? Oh, for football, we know that. Um, um, if uh, I, I would not say that they're not trafficked for uh, prostitution, because you, as you know, even men are trafficked for, for prostitution, not just women. But I, we know that there's a new trend now coming up, which is the organ harvesting. And um, people are taking advantage of that, these opportunities to, to, to traffic people for organ harvesting. NAPTIP, right now, we don't have a, a good statistics of that, but we know that it's happening, that a young boy is taken abroad and then next thing his organs are being harvested. So there are many other things. You can also move them into uh, labor exploitation, which... Um, in, in plantations abroad, in big farms abroad. So um, it's very necessary that people understand that it's not just, um, it's never the same story when you get out there. Hmm. All right, uh, must be a terrible situation. I mean, to hear that it, it could end up being uh, uh, organ harvesting uh, or some other thing. Um, does this this clearance certificate, for, for those who are listening, who are watching, who are uh, football agents. What's the procedure? Does it come with a cost? Yes, for, yes, the, if you go to the portal, you will see that um, we have the, the NAPTI e-clearance portal. All you need to do is go there, click on register, 
and the process is there. There's a fee that you pay for that clearance. And but it doesn't mean that when you pay the fee, it's automatic because there's a thorough um, check that will be done before that clearance is given. But when that clearance is given, you're going to pay a certain fee. Right. For those who are watching this morning, uh, maybe football agents uh, may want to find out what it will cost them. What will it cost the football agents to obtain uh, this uh, clearance form? I don't think the fee is it's stable because you need to, it's when you get there, you, you after the registration, you will see how much you, you are going to pay. But I don't think it's something that anybody has to be scared of. Naptif is just trying to put that small stipend there to be able to make it look legal and for people to be more responsible uh, to, to doing things. So I think, and like you know, this is just one of the ways NAPTIP is doing to strengthen uh, the, uh, the agency's enforcement activities. Hmm. Uh, the reason I'm asking about the cost is because, I mean, you know, the, the normal thing for people in this country to say is, oh, they want to make money. And, um, you know, so, so just to, in order to make sure we clear any doubts, you know, just to clear doubts, how much is NAPTIP asking football agents to pay for this clearance certificate? There's no stipulated amount that is there. And that's why I said, when you go to the portal, you register, you will see what you will be paying for that fault. Because it might, it depends on the number of people you're taking and all that. So it depends on, just go to the portal, it's a very friendly portal. Uh, you go there, you see everything. And I don't think it's something they should be scared of because uh, NAPTIP is not putting a very high price. We're not there to um, to to regulate or I mean to to hinder those that are going in a legitimate way. I think we're just trying to make things um, to make things right, so that we protect our boys and girls that are going out there. Fantastic. But I'm, I'm some would say you know if NAPTIP is a federal agency uh, funded by government. Um, and it's out for noble causes like this, which is to, uh, it's a very, very fantastic work Nat, NAPTIP is doing. Uh, I remember the first time I heard about NAPTIP was uh, under um, T.C. Abubakar, who was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the, uh, the wife of the vice president at the time. NAPTIP is doing great work. Um, if, if this is just to protect the youngsters, you know, wh why ask the, the agents to pay? This is, I mean, any, any attendant cost to NAPTIP to make sure that uh, they clear these people? No, I think you're, you're focusing too much on how much um, NAPTIP is asking to pay. But it's not as if NAPTIP is give, giving you a very high price for, for wanting to take. Even if you go for a visa, you pay for a visa. So there are certain things that we are just trying to make it look legal. and. I don't think there's anything wrong with NAPTIP asking for a small amount of money just for your, for your processes to be done. And this was considered by the Attorney General himself before we, uh, the regulation was, was brought on board. Hmm. So, so to walk us through the process. Um, so let's say I'm a football agent. Uh, I go on the NAPTIP portal. Uh, can you maybe avail us of the web address uh, if that if that's available now? Uh, when I fill the form online, what happens next? Yes. It's a process. Like I said, there are step-by-step -step process where you will make do that registration. So when you get to that, as every step you go, you are being linked to another step that you do. And so it's not something that you, you just, you, you start now and you say, now this is over. When you, after this, but that's why we made it very easy that you can go online and do it. That's a very simple procedure. I have not registered as a football um, agent, but I know that like I'm looking at right now that the, the portal is there. You click on register, you see the step-by-step -step steps that you take. So I think people should just try and see how usable this uh, platform is. And if there's any challenge, then you can call NAPTIP. Uh, do, do you have the website available to you now, or maybe something we can get later and put it out on our news? Yes, so our website is there, www.naptip.gov.ng. Okay, www.naptip.gov.ng. .gov.ng. All right. So, what is the nature of this clearance? I mean, um, 
uh, you want to make sure that a young person who has been taken abroad to uh, for football purposes actually is, is going for that. So how are you going to find that out? Can we come again, please? Uh, I, I mean, w w what's the nature of this, this, this clearance? How will it work? Um, NAPTI wants to find, to make sure that young people, young Nigerians who are being taken abroad, um, you know, for trials, for football purposes, actually will be taken for those purposes and not for any other thing, like you talked about uh, organ harvesting and all that. So how would NAPTIP find out and make sure that this is the case? How does it work? What's the nature of the clearance? Okay, like you, you see, I like I said before, uh, NAPTI is trying to make this look legal and uh, and open so that people can understand, people so that our children will be protected. With this clearance, well, after you get this clearance, there's a procedure where you will tell us when you come back with the student. There's another check that's done. I know that at times that people come that they want to take children for excursions abroad. We need to have the um, clearance of the family of these children. All these are part of the procedure. That, accept, that to say that the children have been, uh, the parents are aware that the children are going abroad. And if you're taking a certain number, we would like to know how many that are back. So these are some of the checks and balances that we're trying to put in place to make sure that these children are not being sold out mm. into slavery. What, what about and, those? Uh, yeah. the, the tip, uh, Clarence, just, just to add that, if you can also uh, uh, go to the tip, clearance.gov.ng that takes you straight to the clearance portal. sorry the, the the network interface so we didn't hear that 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 web address can you please repeat okay it? i said you can also go to tip clearance that is tip clearance tip .ng. clearance okay clearance uh, all right dot gov dot ng. all right um so you're saying that there is what about those who are i, I just tried to open the website and it's not going through which on www.napti.gov.ng. No, no, TIP clearance.gov. No, no, clearance.gov.ng. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using my phone here. Uh, TIP clearance.gov.ng. It says uh, this site can't be reached. Yes. So. No, you reach it. Okay, can you go to www www.napti.gov.ng. All right. When you go there, by your right-hand side, yes. you will see e-clearance portal. Click on register. That okay. will show you how usable is it. Okay. Go to www.napti.gov.ng. All right. Are I'll... you there now? Yes, I'm there. I'm there. I'm at Napti. Because my just brain network. Okay. Did you see e-clearance? No, no, e ma'am. No, ma'am. There's no, there's no Napti e-clearance portal on the website. Here, I've gone through. I can't see anything. What page are you looking at? What I'm, what page are you looking? I'm look. I'm How looking. Is the you? I'm looking yeah. at the mobile. The mobile version. Yes. I'm using my phone. I'm I'm going okay. through. Okay, yeah, I I I, 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 I will try. Yeah. I, I, okay, I've seen it at the bottom. Okay, so I can it's see not, Napti. Yes, because yeah. you're using a phone. You are, yeah. you are using a phone. Most people so may use phones. The page yes. will be the same. Like yeah, absolutely. I understand. Yes, that. I know, but I'm saying the page will not be as clear absolutely. as wide as the yes, normal. Yes. That, that's like why I had to go screen. down. Okay, so oh, I click, I've seen. I see register. Yeah. I see login. Do I click register or login? Okay, I click yeah. login because I'm new. You click register first. Sorry, register because I'm new. All right, I've clicked that and uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's working. I can see that tip e clearance. Uh, portal. I can see how to apply uh, for a clearance certificate. Okay, so I, th I think the TIP is what needs to be worked. Why well, I had to go to the TIP clearance is so that people we see if it's working, and at least we can give feedback to the agency. I'm sure that you're happy that you know to know that it's not going through, and that can help the agency uh, uh, work on on that. Because I mean, if somebody wants to go today and they can't apply to put uh, uh, it may but hamper. But you just went. Yeah. You just went to. I guess you just went, I can see that you just went to the, the, the NAPTI website and you can see it's there. Yes. And yes. you can click to register and you can yes, see it's working. Yes. So you can as well use that today if you want to go in for your clearance. All right. All right. You can just go in there and okay, register. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, so, um, ask again, 
You know, some people are taken abroad. They're not coming back. They're going to start a career. They go for maybe football trials or they're going to join an academy abroad. How do you, since they're not coming back and NAPTI would not be able to see, oh, you came, went before, you came back with three. They, they're taking one person out and they say that person isn't coming back. How do you ensure this person is actually no, joining that, that, exa exactly, the club? Ex yeah. Exactly. That is why I said when you, you don't have to come back, but NAPTI will still monitor the person when the person is abroad you see when we talk about recruitment especially when it comes to recruitment for jobs or football academies and and um, and all that you see when you have people being taken abroad without anybody having it in fact any uh, follow-up mechanism where you have someone to monitor or to check what is the well-being of this person abroad that's where trafficking goes on but with this new way of doing things that NAPTIP is doing. And, and this is, these are innovations that have been come up by our director, our director general, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi. And I think it's very commendable because what you, what you do is when, you, when we register, NAPTIP is able to trace, is able to follow up and monitor that particular person. There is a team that is set aside to do all this. So there's a monitoring procedure where NAPTIP will continue to keep a tap on the people that have been taken abroad through this, this process. All right. Uh, I mean, I wish you had more time to discuss this issue of payment because, I mean, people are complaining about uh, what they have to pay for. <laughs> the economy is not what it used to be for a lot of people. Uh, we look at the police um, uh, certificate or form for those who uh, want to be cleared as well. It's now 40,000 naira. I wish you could tell us how much these football agents will have to pay. You know, don't you have a flat rate or some, you know, if for one person, um, madam, how much will one person pay? <laughs> one person, just give us something. I don't think it's something, I, like, like I said I mean, before. Wh I why, why is this something you can't tell us? So, one person. I don't know, but it's, it's not, it's not the one, one of thing. That is what I'm trying, what I said it before. And I'm saying it's oh, not you, the one you of keep thing. Paying, so you keep paying every year? How much you will pay. Uh, no, wait, wait, what I mean, yeah. it's not a one of those, like, not... It's not one fee per case. So that's why I said it just has to do with what are you going, where are you going, how many people are you taking. So when you go through that proce that process and it gets to where you need to pay, how much you're going to be paid will, will be clear to you. All right. Um, I want to you thank know, you. When something, I want to, I want to, I want to disabuse the... Uh, the minds of uh, uh, of agents or recruiters out there that I want them to believe this is something good that NAPTIP is doing uh, because I remember the engagement we had with uh, uh, employment recruiters. There are so many, uh, so many other fake agents out there that are also spoiling the names of the good ones. So it's, it's important that they should work with NAPTIP to see that this works because if it works, now we know who is good and who is not good. So there are a lot of bad people out there that are taking the same opportunities, taking advantage of this, this, uh, these own opportunities and deceiving our children to, uh, to traffic them. So that the, I believe that if you are a genuine agent and you want to take children abroad for football, uh, for football academies or clubs out there, there's nothing for you to fear because there are not, it's just that you have, now you have an agency that is also assisting you to do it right. All right, all right. Are you working with NFA or maybe FIFA or CAF or UEFA, these organizations that license agencies? Very quickly, briefly, please. This is where we work with anybody, especially we are, we are, we always call for synergies, collaborations, and they are aware that we have this portal. That's why it's a new one, and right. we have been trying to sensitize people regarding this new portal. So I guess everybody will come on board and everything will be well. All right. Thank you very much, Gloria Ivierian by Zonal Commander of NAPTIP Makodi, for your time. And that's the much we can take on the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Please follow us on social media Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, YouTube, Plus TV Africa, and of course for our live streams at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bartels. I'll be back tomorrow. Good morning.